my bookshelf tour 2020. <laughs> So as you can see from my last video, I just did a bookshelf reorganisation. So what I thought I'd do today is give you a bit of an organisational tour, I guess you can say, of my shelf. So basically, I'm not going to show you every single book on the shelves because I'll be here for hours and the editing job on that is just not something I fancy doing. Instead, I'm just going to show you each shelf and what each one represents. So I'm going to start over here with my shelf dedicated to retellings. So starting over here, we've got my Umbrella Academy Pops followed by a McFly poster. Fun fact, I'm actually on this poster somewhere because it's made up of a whole load of fan photos. So I am actually on here somewhere. Then underneath on the actual shelf, we've got my hardcovers because they just look nice there. I don't really have anywhere else to put them, so I just put them there. I've then got all my bookmarks and obviously a Beauty and the Beast. Then all my Beauty and the Beast retellings. Fun fact, this is actually a fairy loot Beauty and the Beast cup, so I thought it would be good to put it with the Beauty and the Beast stuff. Following on, we've then got a Blade So Black series and Cinderella is Dead because I just felt like putting them there. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, this one will have to move when the third one comes out in this series, but for now, it can stay there. Then we have my Sherlock shelf. Now, the reason why this is on my retelling shelf is just simply because Sherlock is a retelling of the original Arthur Conan Doyle stories. So, I figured I'd put it there. Also, I really like the show and I just wanted it on display, essentially. So, that's there. Below, we've then got a few middle grades and just general retellings. I didn't really want to sort of fuss about with this shelf too much. I just wanted straight up other retellings. Obviously, I'll have some more order when I get some more books on here, but at the moment, it just works quite well. Obviously, the rest of this space is going for Aru Shah and general books like that. Then underneath, we've got more sort of general retellings, including The Princess Bride. I know that's not technically a retelling, but I'm counting it. I know also Six of Crows isn't technically a retelling, but I put it here because it is based on sort of Russian folktale, if I remember rightly or at least it's Russian inspired and also I just wanted it on this side of the room so I could basically see it because I really like the Six of Crows universe and obviously the language of thorns is actually a retelling so it did feel semi right to put it here and then I've also got over here if I can point Frankenstein and also Grimm's fairy tales and also Hans Christian Andersen fairy tales as well. Then under that shelf we've got my comic book shelf, or at least the first part of my comic book shelf. Obviously Sherlock Chronicles and the amazing book It's Not on Fire are not technically retellings but the Chronicles wouldn't go on the Sherlock shelf so it just had to go down here. But apart from that we've got Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the Umbrella Academy and I Hate Fairyland and Exorcisters. We've then got a Tenth Doctor comic and a Hellboy because I really like Hellboy. I grew up on Hellboy, so Hellboy goes there because I've got no other place to put him alongside Baymax. Baymax felt good there. I don't know why. He just ended up there. The next shelf over is the shorter one, which you don't generally see in my videos, but it's here anyway. So I've got a bit of Doctor Who here and a Chekhov pop because why not alongside a couple of fake succulents. Here we've then got Neil Gaiman, so I've got a few of Neil Gaiman's works like Neverwhere and American Gods, followed by Good Omens. Now, I don't have any Terry Pratchett up here simply because he's downstairs with the more communal bookshelves. But I wanted to keep Good Eye Men's up here, so it's up here along with a wand. And next to it I've just got a couple of books that I either really want to read soon or I just fancy putting here because I didn't really know where else to put them. I'm not going to lie, they'll probably have to be moved when I get more Neil Gaiman, but at the moment they're quite happy where they are. This one's pretty self-explanatory though, it's the Mortal Instruments followed by the Infernal Devices followed by the Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, the Bane Chronicles and then also over there the Infernal Devices. As for the pops that are on here, I've got New York based ones like Jessica Jones and Electro, then I just felt like having Black Widow and also the girl with the blades from Kingsman, whose name I've completely forgotten, on the shelf as well because they kind of fit the aesthetic alongside Hela. And then an Ant-Man, because I fancy putting Ant-Man there. Next, we then have my Avengers shelf, which is one of my favourites, I'm not going to lie. And then actually along these lines, we've got some of the big team-ups like Age of Ultron and Secret Invasion and also Marvel 1602, along with Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, Black Widow, Winter Soldier, Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, Planet Hulk, and then a whole load of Thors and Lokis and then followed by Spider-Man and Deadpool team-ups and just general Spider-Man. Then over here I've got a couple of bits on top there for fun. There's just generally Doctor Strange models 
Then here we've got my favourite female author shelf. So this side here is Carrie Hope Fletcher and then this side is Shauna Maguire. I've got a bit of space there for another author who I'm leaving it blank for now along with what I call my A-Force because obviously they were all, apart from Natasha who I'm very sad about, were there at Endgame all together fighting. Then we have my V.E. Schwab shelf, which is pretty self-explanatory really, and that's just the Avengers, or at least the male Avengers. So I've got the women on top and the men underneath, because I felt like it. I've then got my brilliant McFly shelf. Obviously I'm a big McFly fan, as you can see by the posters and the starting t-shirt. And this one is just sort of Tom's books, their autobiography, Harry's books, and also Dougie's books. So I've got all the Christmas stories and the Creakers, Eve of Man, the series, Dougie's Plastic Socks and then also Harry's Get Fit Get Happy along with Thor Ragnarok characters essentially and also Christmasaurus plush. Next I've got the Skullduggery Pleasant shelf which is again self-explanatory. This one is all of the first series and then from here onwards it's the second series which I haven't read yet. That copy is my first ever copy and these two are the various sort of bind ups of short stories so I've just put them over there because they don't quite match the rest of the end covers but at the same time I do also want to get these two books in paperback so I can continue on this picture that's growing. Also I've just put Doctor Strange here because I feel like Benedict would make a brilliant Skulldog Pleasant because he is a magical skeleton detective and obviously Doctor Strange is a magical detective so it kind of sort of fit in. Then behind the Bookopoly board, we've got my middle grade shelf as well. So this is all of Artemis Fowl and General Ewan Colfer. Then also Mother Earth and the rest of my Paul Stewart books. Then I've just got three other middle grades that I do want to get to soon because they are new. Also Lockwood & Co sort of corresponds with Skullduggery because it's quite similar. So I just put them all there. And then I've just got the Stranger Things Kids and a Demogorgon there because it felt right as for Aragorn, Frodo and Smaug. Again, it just felt right to put them there. I don't know why, it just did. And then this is the rest of my Marvel shelf. So this is just the X-Men up until about here, which is Deadpool. And then I go into the Guardians of the Galaxy, also one Fantastic Four, and then a few others down here alongside a Logan poster and a few various bits of X-Men merch and pops and stuff, because... It just sort of flows quite nicely to go from Spider-Man, Deadpool team-ups into the X-Men and stuff like that. And that's just all of my collection at the moment, though I don't have much room left. And then on the other side of my room, I've got general sort of exclusive pops and just general pops in general. A few bits up here, so I've got a signed Andrew Scott thing that I got when I met him at Yauk. Not Yauk, LFCC, that's the one. A little thing for Chuck from Supernatural and that's just hollowed wristbands and stuff I've gotten from gigs over the years. Then on this side I've got a Dark Phoenix poster because X-Men and this is where all my X-Men pops will go and this is my signed Hayley Atwell poster as well because it felt right with what's underneath. I've got sort of what I call Team Shield underneath in terms of pops then just a few more exclusives and also my McFly albums along with them at Fly Poster. And Good Omens and Deadpool, and Umbrella Academy calendar. Then under here, I call the fangirl section. Above, we've got Captain Jack Harkness. Below, we've got Doctor Who Round 1, so with 13th, the 10th, and Missy. As well, this is a part of my Doctor Who collection. I've got more Doctor Who books. This is a huge box set, and these are just a few more hardcovers, along with Dean Winchester and Hulk. And then, as you can see under here, the Torchwood collection, which I've also mostly read. I haven't read a few of these, but I still own them and do plan on reading them and re-watching the shows. Then this shelf is my sci-fi Sopia shelf, so that's where all of that's going alongside Guardians of the Galaxy. Underneath, I've got Jay Kristoff, or at least Nevernight. I wasn't that keen on his other books, so I've just kept Nevernight at the moment. I'll probably get the Empire of the Vampire as well on here. And then below... It's just a few hardcovers. Then along here I've got sort of more books that I do want to focus on in the next couple of months, maybe next year. So these are some of the books I just want to get to. They're mostly hardcovers to be fair. The only exceptions to this are Skyward and The Many Lives of Stephen Leeds, mainly because I've read The Many Lives of Stephen Leeds and Skyward was not my favourite. I will probably give it another go at some point, but 
not right now. And then I've just got a Hella here because she kind of fit the aesthetic, sort of. She does look cool here, essentially. Below that, I've just got sort of random fantasy, to be fair. I'm not going to lie, it's mostly random fantasy on this shelf because I wasn't entirely sure what else to put on here, apart from some of Team Cap, or at least the three who have become Captain America over the years. Then we'll skip the shelf of the author who must not be named to go on to actual middle grade I enjoy. All these middle grade I need to read. I have not read any of these books apart from these three on this shelf. I've literally not read any of them. I should probably fix that in the new year. Oh, and I've read most of this one as well. I haven't read all of it, but I have read the first two stories in this one. And a bit of The Dark is Rising. This one, again, is a bit of a random shelf, to be honest. It's just more fantasy that I didn't really know what else to do with, so I just put it here, along with a Mock the Week thing, and also two QI books, because I really like the shows, essentially, and sometimes you just need a bit of comedy. And then, also, second to last shelf is the Spiderwick Chronicles, so this is the main series, the first one of the spin-off series, along with... The Chronicles of Spiderwick and also the Field Guide. Unfortunately I've had to put it like this because they just do not fit on any other shelf. And finally this is my dystopia shelf. Now I have not read any of these either but I do want to tackle a few of these next year. But this is essentially The Hunger Games and Patrick Ness. I have read this one when I was a teenager and everything else I've ignored. So I should probably get on that. And that's the end of this bookshelf tour. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below with how you organise your bookshelves. I'd love to know. I'll also leave a link down below to all of my social media if you want to check it out. And if you want to see any more of my videos, please click subscribe here. And over here will be the link to my previous video. But until next time, everyone, bye.